Okay guys, uh, and this this is the first video. Um, we're going to just go over how to log into the Genie portal and um, just some of the basic terms that you should understand with the Genie uh, environment. So first thing is you're just going to come here to portal.genie.net, click use Genie. Next thing is to type in your university. So for me, I'm from UMass Amherst, I'm click on that. <clears throat> we're going to type in our username for UMass. might be different for your school. There's also a way to do it so you don't have to use your school. Um, you could just create your own login, um, but it's much more convenient to set it up if your school is in the, in the consortium, um, which uh, quite a few are. So um, first time through, if you log in, you're probably going to be prompted with a um, user agreement window. So just make sure you agree to that and then you'll come on through to this window. Um, in here, what do we have? We have the first one is basically if we zoom out here, these are all the resources we have available to us with the Genie projects. We have some in Australia, uh, a bunch in the US, a, a few in Europe, and then a few more in Africa. So those are all the resources you're going to have available to you when you go to actually run an experiment. Um, right underneath that, we've got our projects. So a project holds slices, um, and a slice, you can think of a slice as an experiment, and then a project is kind of your lab binder that holds all your experiments. And, and um, So, you know, a project would hold, a, a normal project would be, you know, set up for a class, or set up for a group of people, or set up for a grad, um, a grad laboratory, or something like that. And then a slice would be something that you created just for yourself to run your own experiment on. Um, and then underneath slices, we have uh, resources. So um, if I open up a slice I've already created, okay, um, we'll go over how to create slices uh, in another video. Um, I think that'll be our third video. Um, we've got in here, we've got um, Flack, um, which again we'll go over, but we have our members, so these are all people that have access to this slice, okay? We also have um, slice status, so these are where the slice could possibly be, okay? I don't have any resources actually with this slice right now, but um, if we wanted to find out what this uh, status of our resources were, we could click on um, resource status, and then we just click yes for the, the warning. And it's going to actually ask each one of those resources, you know, uh, do you have anything for slice three node zero? Okay, that's the name of my slice here. And um, they're all, you know, if I don't have anything on them, it's just going to say, no, I don't have anything for them, so I, I just don't have any resources. Um, so, so basically resources are, you know, VMs, links between those VMs, uh, the VMs themselves could be made up of exogenie or instagenie racks. Um, but that, those are the basic resources. Um, and beyond that, um, the next video we'll get into how to uh, you know, download your SSH keys and become uh, get, get actually working with Genie. Um, so check into our next video.